What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Panthers Advice. Man, there's a lot to break down from the Lions game. Starting with Bryce Young. Let's get after it. Play number one right here. What do we have? We've got an in route with Hayden over the top. A hitch route with Mingo underneath. But there's a little bit more to this play than you might think on the Lions side. Let's take a look. Pre-snap, what do we see? We see potentially cover two, could be cover four. Take a look. Boom, 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 right? Potentially. But as the play develops, I want you guys to watch what the Lions do right here, right? They're going to go into a cover three. What's going to happen is they're going to bring this guy right here. Boom. He's going to drop back. But with him coming over here, it takes away that slant route. So the Lions take away that. If he streaks over the top, he's dropping back for that anyway. Bryce Young does a great job. Looking over here, knowing this guy's going to play the outside zone, sees the hitch underneath. Mike is going with Hayden right there. Hit the hitch right there, man. Good play right here. Great read. Let's keep it going. Remember on the last play, I said the Lions like to roll into different coverages. Right here, they do the same thing. They actually take away Bryce's first read. Let's run this back. So as you're going to see on this play right here, they want to take Adam and get him over the top of these underneath defenders on this cover three. Take a look what the Lions do on this cover three. So initially... You're like, all right, cover three, pre-snap, bang, 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 right? But watch what the Lions do. They're still going to drop these two guys, bang, bang, but he's going to come up and he's going to drop back. So once the ball is snapped, take a look at Adam, right? He finds the hole only to be met by the safety right here. So Bryce's next read is going to be DJ over the top right here on the right side. Take a look. Whoop, got him. Now this was a tight throw. So there's something else I want to look at, right? The one thing I might have changed on this play is this right here. So we see cover three pre-snap. We know DJ is going to take this guy deep. When he does that, you're going to get somebody over here to fill this zone, right? Someone's got to fill that. You don't want this open area. So watch what happens. The ball is snapped. DJ takes that guy deep on the cover three, right? This guy right here, he has that third. Linebacker comes over here. Now this throw could have been a little bit easier, but here's why it wasn't. We got Miles on a little swing route right here. Now, I don't mind the swing route, but watch right here with the linebacker. He really doesn't have to come up to guard Miles right there, right? He doesn't have to come up. So now, that forces Bryce to make that tight throw right there, man. If Miles were to come up a little bit, it would force him to come up to really have to guard Miles. But instead, we just sit right there, man. We just sit right there. Forces Bryce to make a tight throw, as you're going to see right there. He does it, but I don't think it had to be that hard. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, the Panthers bring Miles in the backfield, right? Now watch the safety and the DB on the top of your screen. They bring Mingo in motion. And then we run the tight end screen where Aiden picks it off. Let's run this thing back and figure out what went wrong. Here's what confuses me on this play. We start off five wide. All right, we bring Miles in the backfield. Okay, we do that to run the play action to set the tight end screen. But on top of that, we're going to bring Mingo in motion. Now, I understand why they brought Mingo in motion, right? They're going to take the safety from here, drop him down to pick up Mingo. That's one less defender over here. Then on top of that, we run the play action. All that to set up a tight end screen to Ian Thomas. I just feel like we're trying to do way too much to accomplish very, very little. On this play, I love what they do. They run the read option, bam, hit Mingo on that speed out, man. Why did it take us so long to run this? I love what they did right here. I do, right? But why did it take so long? Come on, man. Let's keep it going. Good play right here. On this play right here, they complete the flat pass to Adam. But I want to take another look at this. But let me know what you guys think. Let's break it down. So as we break the play down, we have a flat route and we have a hitch route. Yes, I get it that Adam's going to be open right. DJ, a little pick route right here. However, like I said before, he has to throw all the way across the field, man. A little bit late of a read, too. The first option I want to look at is over here. We've got numbers. We have numbers. We've got three guys going out. Bang, bang, and bang, right? So as the play develops, they drop back. I'm hitting Miles, right? If I'm not going to the flat route right away, I'm hitting Miles right there. On a more positive note, I love what they did right here. Much better than last week. Much better. Take a look at this. A little delay route. Boom, boom. And he's open, right? Hitting Tommy in the end zone. I love what they did right here. No little whip routes. Bang, bang. Nothing crazy, man. Just whoop. Got him. Good stuff right there. Once again, guys, take a look how the lines are lined up. Could be cover two, cover four, right? It could be anything. Take a look at this. Bryce is going to find Hayden on the hitch route. But, man, the Lions are doing a great job of basically disguising coverages, as you're going to see. He's going to come up right there, shifts everybody over. He drops back. Take a look. Bryce, great read right there, man. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, you can see the Lions are stacking the box. 
Bryce gets pressured, steps up in the pocket, and hits Adam. Let's run this thing back, man. Finally, a positive, positive play. Let's take another look. The first thing we're going to point out is this defensive tackle getting pressure instantly. Take a look at this. Whoop! Right past the center. Bryce steps up into the pocket. Adam does a great job as well. He's going to burst to the outside. Now, watch what happens once he does this. He bursts to the outside. Look at the DB going this way. Adam's like, all right, gotcha. Boom, boom, as you're going to see right there. Whoop! Good throw. Good catch, man. Let's keep it going. On this play right here, man, I thought there was something open. We're going to go over it after, but honestly, another great play call in disguise from the Lions. We're going to let the play run. Let me know if you guys catch it. Bryce is scrambling. Checks it down to Adam. Honestly, a good throw, and here's why. As we break down this play, pre-snap, I'm seeing what? Cover 2, cover 4, potentially, as the play develops. Looks to be a cover 2. But here's what I want you guys to watch right here. Watch what the Lions do right here, all right? Initially, I saw Adam run a hitch right here, right? Take a look. He runs a hitch. So I'm like, okay, that pulls the mic in. Bam, you hit Hayden over the top. But they're actually going to play match coverage. So if Hayden goes this way, the defender is actually going to go with them. On top of that, they drop the defender back to pick up the hitch. Then they run a Tampa 2. The Tampa 2 is going to pick up the post right there. Take a look at this, guys. So as you're going to see as the play develops, the defensive tackle picks up the hitch right there. Linebacker on a Tampa 2. He's going to pick up the post route. Bang, bang. Honestly, man, nothing is open. But this was a good play call against the cover two. They just weren't expecting that defensive tackle to drop back like he did, man. Got to give it to the Lions, but got to give it to Adam, man. He makes something out of nothing. Let's keep it going. Just when I started to feel a little bit confident in the play calling, we do this. We do this. And by this, I don't know what that is, guys. I, I, I really don't. Take a look at this. So as we break this play down, it looks to be man-to-man -man coverage, right? Bang. Bang, bang, bang. But we don't know for sure, so we're going to let the play run. Take a look. All right. Looks to be man coverage. Nobody is going across the middle of the field. I mean, I get it. There's other routes to run, but not when your QB has no time. Why? Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Man, this is just bad. This is just, this is just bad, guys. Take a look at this. Three-step drop right, and nothing is open. Take a look. Pause it. Three-step drop at the top of the drop. Nobody's open. <laughs> Nobody's open, man. This is just... This is just bad, man. This is just bad. Was there any other options? Here's my thing. Swing the running back out. Maybe he picks up the running back. You get Hayden one-on-one -on -one across the middle. Something, bruh. Something. Three-step drop. Nothing's open, guys. I mean, this is just... This is just bad. If you thought the last play was bad, ooh, I got bad news for you. Five-step drop here, top of the drop. I'm going to let the play run. I'm going to let the play run. I mean, guys, come on, man. This is this is bad. Once again, I question, why not just swing the running back out? I really don't get it. I really don't get it. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand he's in there for pass protection. But, man, if we're going to run three deep routes, we need to have a check down of some sort. Now, yes, we have Tommy right there. But, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Five-step drop. This is our options. This could get open in a couple seconds. That's bagged. That's getting picked up right there. I mean, he's picking up the running back right there. I mean, nothing's open, man. Nothing is open. Finally, we go back to a happy place. RPO with the speed out. Bang, bang. Here's my thing, though, guys. Here's my thing. So here's my thing with this, right? Eventually, that DB is going to have to come up to play that, which gives you endless opportunities on the back end, right? Whether it's a sluggo, whoop, got him right over the top. Whether it's a hitch option, he comes up, bam, you turn that to a go route. Or they go into a cover two, you run a crosser right there, man. Endless opportunities. I don't understand why we're not trying to run this more often. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, right here is going to be our last play. I want to end it on a positive note. We're going to let it run, go over it after. A lot of positive things right here, man. Let's break it down. That's six right there. Let's run it back. So as we break this play down, let's take a look at the Lions personnel first. So I see a nickel package, 4-3 front, right? They bring the strong safety down. Man coverage, as you're going to see. Single high safety, and that's who Bryce is going to read. So take a look right here. Panthers run the play action. Bam. As you're going to see, it sucks the linebackers in. we got Adam going across. you got DJ right here on the outside, too. Remember what I said, though. Single high safety. So if the free safety picks up Adam right there, we're going backside hitting DJ, and that's exactly what Bryce does, man. Great read. Looks off the safety, as you're going to see, man. Woo! 
Take a look at this one more time. We suck the linebackers in. Oop, add them over the top. Safety bites on that. We hit DJ right there on the backside. Great play. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned.